what I'd like to do now is to move over to our, our next speaker. Uh, and our next speaker um, is Gemma Matthews. Uh, so Gemma is the head of talent acquisition at Reward Gateway. Um, and Reward Gateway is a very interesting company uh, and a real sort of player in its, in its, its field. And Reward Gateway helps companies to align, motivate and engage their employees uh, to work in radically new ways with their groundbreaking employee engagement platform. And what that platform does is it puts communication at the very core of things like recognition surveys, analytics and perks. So without further ado, what I'd like to do now is to hand straight over to Gemma Matthews from Reward Gateway. Hi, um, I have some slides to share, so I'm just going to share my screen now, which I'm hoping you guys can all see. Yep, that's coming up. Yeah, perfect. So hi, guys. Um, thank you for the introduction, Brian. Um, we're a very different company to um, Accenture. You do some amazing things. I was listening and really, really impressed. Um, just a little bit about us. Um, we're only a smaller quite a small business um 415 employees um fast growth um we're in we're a private equity backed business so we have investors we have big goals big stretch targets um and part of that is big growth um and talent acquisition targets really um so our mission is to make the world a better place to work. Um, I know it sounds quite cheesy, um, but that's actually true. And for the fact of what we do and what we talk to our customers about, um, we really have to live and breathe that internally first at our organisation. So culture, employee engagement, um, creating an amazing experience for our employees um, is, is kind of our goal as a, a business, but also as a internal people team. Um, so. We're, we're about 12 years old now as a business, but our people team has only really been functioning for about four years. So everything we've done is pretty much only been recently in the last three to four years. So that um, our talent acquisition team is only about two years old. So there was so much that we had to do um, to kind of really align to our mission of making the world a better place to work and making Reward Gateway a better place to work. So I'm going to kind of talk to you a little bit about um, why we chose to do the things that we do. Um, so we're about, as I said, just over 400 employees, but we actually sit in five different countries. Um, we have employees in the UK, in Bulgaria, Macedonia, Australia and America. So we're spread, we're spread around a lot. So consistency for us in giving an amazing experience to our new, new joiners was such a big thing. Like we couldn't deliver consistency in the right way. People were getting different experiences, different learnings. Um, and we were... I, it, it, was, it just didn't align with what we were doing as a business. Um, so that was one big thing that we were looking at, um, our values and culture. So we have eight values that are super important for us, things we look for in people that we hire. So we wanted to be able to really embed that into our onboarding and our welcome for our new joiners, really, and for them to really understand what they're coming into on their first day. I'm sure many of you, before you join a new business, you know, you you really have those doubts, like, is it actually going to be what I've signed up for? You, you always worry a little bit. Um, our business has quite expectation, high expectations of ourselves. So we always try and have a well factor in anything we do. That's with our clients. Um, you know, our client is also HR. So, you know, we try and talk the same language, but we want to make things well. So that's what we were trying to do with, with our onboarding and welcoming um, and engagement um, I'm sure some of you in the talent space has experienced the moment you offer someone a job there's that real minimum minimal engagement piece before they join so there's an element of can they lose interest in your business could they go somewhere else could they be attracted by another offer so the engagement part before and after um, was a really big part for us um, learning being able to encourage learning before they join and when they join and just after they join getting them involved in that learning culture was super important and um our mission of making the world a better place to work we want we wanted to be able to make sure that when the new joiners came and started with us that they truly see that mission being lived by our employees so that's kind of some of the things that that, that made us really focus on what we were doing for our candidate experience um, so I'm just going to cover off some of the things that we do, um, I guess, before and 
after they join. So um, we use a tool called Emborder. Um, I don't know if many of you have heard of them before, but they are a, an, a fast growing HR tech company, very much like us actually, live the same values. Um, but what they do is they um, enable us to create really personable messages to our new joiner before they even join. So they sign the offer letter and contract. The first thing they get is a welcoming message from Reward Gateway. You know, we're really excited for you to be joining us. We can't wait to welcome you into the business. Here's some things for you to go and read before you join. Um, and there's a sequence of messages that happen before their first day, like what to bring on your first day. Um, here's a reminder of our culture. And we give them a link to the culture book. Um, so there's a whole number of different things. Um, and then on their first day, um, they get a message from our CEO which basically says you're probably on your on your way to your to the office for your first day um this is just a message from me to say welcome um we can't wait for you to be here you know you've obviously jumped through a lot of hoops to get here so don't put too much pressure on yourself and have a great first day um and then these messages kind of kick in from the moment they start their first day all the way up to kind of their their fourth week in the business and again there's a number of touch points so once they've joined there's an element of pushing out learning to them tracking feedback we can get their feedback on their experience like was their manager supportive how was their learning what can we do better um and that continues I think up until about 12 weeks of of their kind of onboarding journey um as you can see here from the slide, these are just the snippets of, of what we actually have. Um, it's a, such a great tool. Like you're able to write your own content, upload videos, do go through actions, um, pictures. You can literally brand it to make the make it look like it's come directly from your people team. I love it, and it's so easy to use as a HR professional. You can just go in and change it. Um, the one thing we do at the moment is we have just one workflow, which is consistent for every person. What we're working on right now is actually making that. Um, geographically kind of focused so if you're an employee joining in America the content and the vi visuals and, vi and videos are going to be really relevant to that location and then what we want to do in the future is then make that role specific so if you're a salesperson joining in America a lot of your learning and, and information is going to be really really relevant to that space um, and then what we do on their first day is we created these welcome boxes so it kind of like we kind of took a step back and we were like we do all of these amazing things when they join and before but like what do they have on, like, on their first day like we wanted them to feel that wow moment um but we also wanted to encourage and embed our values from day one so what we've done here is we created like a welcome box and the idea of it is it's like a gift box so each item represents a value um and as you can see there each value represents something we had a, have a little gift tag um, and they get this on their first day. My favourite part um, of this box is the Polaroid pictures. Um, it's not very clear here, but um, the Polaroids are just a quick Polaroid picture of their direct team. And I, and I think when you have a workspace like ours, where it's a... Um, a flexible workspace so there's no set desk you kind of work wherever you want it's really hard to remember everybody's names if you've got a quick image of who your team who your team is that be human value it's really great and what we also try to do is kind of um encourage some of our benefits that don't really get used very often so one of the things in there which is pushed the boundaries is um our encouraging our volunteering benefits or just letting them know and reminding them that they have three days a year to, to, to get involved in volunteering and then what they need to do to do that um it's one of my favorite things and I love seeing pe people's faces um when they get their box because it's a nice surprise um and they post it all over social media which I think is what my next slide shows as well so this is just an example. Um, we love to show clients what we do, um, their excitement. It's just a really great way um, of them having a, that really kind of wow experience on their first day. So just to kind of like recap on some of the impact it's had. Um, so we've got feedback from our employees from their onboarding experience and how well how well they feel that welcome's been. Um, and we have a, a 4.78 out of 5 on their employee experience rating, which is fabulous. We've been able to get some really great feedback um, from the employees about what, what they'd like to see, what they what they really liked about the, the current process, um, what didn't work so well, um, you know, how engaging was their manager, just being a, a, enabling us to really pick out what we're doing well and what we can be better at. Um, another great thing is that it encourages that learning culture. So we've been able to get people excited about learning before they actually join the business. 
Um, and it's enabled us to have really high engagement in the first six months because that is the, the 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 most important part of an employee's journey is that first six months understanding whether this company's right for them, is the job right for them, and our um, retention rate within that period is really really high. Um, that's everything from me. So back to you, Brian. So thank you, Gemma. I mean, that was very, very insightful. Uh, I think some of the stuff you, you guys do is, is just is just fabulous, and, and clearly that comes across uh, in the, the, the presentation that you gave to us today. Um, what I'd like to do now is to move to a panel session. Could I ask all the panelists to um, switch their videos on and make sure they're off mute so that everybody can join in uh, on, on, on the questions? Um, uh, I've got a couple of questions that have come in, and I'll, I'll just start off with with those. Um, the first question that I was asked is, uh, is there a follow-up book in the works? And if so, what will be the focus for the next one? Uh, and the answer is, uh, yes, there is a follow-up book in the works, although uh, it would be disingenuous to me to tell you that we know exactly what it is. We're, we're still at the, at the planning phase, but it will be on uh, the question of... Uh, of employee welcome and it will be a similar format it will involve more case studies from major companies so watch out for that and that will be with you uh, in the, in the new year and i had another question actually for uh, for you Gemma, uh, and that was this could you provide us with some examples of what you do to engage employees between months two to six okay so after they first landed but over the next the, the, the that second period sure um um okay so we do um a number of things um i don't know if anyone's or uses insights discovery within their business so we run um, an introduction session to that in their third month of joining the business so that session is all around um understanding their own perception um of themselves how they communicate with each other um and kind of getting feedback um, on how their experience has been for the first three months and how they can then look at their strengths and their development areas and implement them into their next six months. Um, we run, um, we run uh, like follow-up sessions. I think they're every four and six months with the new hires. So they have a touching point with either their manager or ourselves um, just to see how their experience has gone. Um, feedback questions we get them involved in our culture teams we use slack as a communications channel so we're always keen on um, getting new hires involved in new activities events that we're running um, I think it depends on the location to be honest because in Bulgaria for example we have 200 employees there's always things happening and things to get involved in um, in the UK we're only around 110 so I think it's quite locally locally like it's relevant locally based on um maybe what department you're in as well like what we get you involved in but there's there are touch points up to the six months um and then we do encourage like one of our values is speak up as well so we we try and encourage that from day one to enable them to speak up about their experience and what they're missing out on learning um one thing that we're implementing um in january is um a continuous performance conversation tool um something that we've like we don't do things like annual reviews or formal reviews here um so we're actually launching that in january which we're really excited about which will be embedded from the moment they join and it enables them to have really comfortable learning continuous performance conversations um that will help them develop and learn through their journey whether they've been here six months or six years I okay thank you and just another very quick question for you Gemma. Um, sure is can you just confirm the name of the induction platform yeah they're called n border which is e n b o a r d e r uh, they're an australian um tech startup but they have um some a really great team here in in london so i'm happy to connect anyone with them if you want to find out a bit more they're brilliant I think they're fabulous. We just uh, uh, on a side note, um, you can use the platform for other communication and, and well um, and workflow. So we have a maternity workflow. So when we have um, employees go through their parental leave, um, it also notifies them through that journey. We have people moving departments and it also helps them transition into new departments as well. So it's not just for onboarding. It's obviously its main purpose and it's it's brilliant. 
Thank you very much. Uh, I'm a great stickler for, for trying to finish on, on, on time. By my uh, reckoning on my watch, we've got about 45 seconds left, which really just gives me enough time to thank all our participants. Uh, and in case you've forgotten who they were, uh, thank you very much to Sophie Thien, who's the head of HR at 11FS, to Gethin Hine, the Associate Director at Deloitte, to Antonia Cobb, Senior Manager at Accenture, to Gemma Matthews, the Head of Talent Acquisition at Reward Gateway, and to Mark Dirksen, the Global Mobility Director at Booking.com. Uh, and above all, thank you to everyone in our audience uh, for joining the webinar today. So thank you all very much and have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Okay.